Well, the idea in Pulp Fiction was was the idea of, of taking the uh, the uh, I wouldn't say film noir, but the the pulp genre. All right, that was represented in the case of magazines like Black Mask, where you had Raymond Chandler or Dashiell Hammett writing them. And so I thought the idea in the case of Pulp Fiction that would be kind of cool is to take three separate stories and, uh, and, and make them be the oldest stories in the book, you know, whether it be uh, um, uh, Vincent's character, the, ga the hoodlum, has to go out with the boss's lady, but don't touch her. And there's a whole history of people who have touched her and what happens. Well, we've seen that before, a zillion times. All right. Um, and um, in the case of uh, the Bruce Willis story, that's, that's the boxer supposed to throw the fight, and he doesn't, and now the mob's after him. We've seen that story a million times before. And one of the things I thought about, like, the third story uh, was basically kind of the beginning of, at the, at the time, of almost every Joel Silver movie, which would start off with, like, a couple of hitmen showing up. Boom, boom. All right, you want to witness something? Witness this. <laughs> <laughs> and they shoot the guy, and then it cuts to Arnold Schwarzenegger walking through the forest, and eventually he's going to meet those guys. And so I thought, well, what happens if we hung out with them all night long? All, all, all night long, all day long, all right, after they've killed the guy. What happens to the rest of their day? And so it was the idea of taking these, these chestnuts and putting them together and then actually having the characters kind of intertwine, and it all kind of takes place in one, one city, and it's an environment that they all live in, and the characters kind of know each other, but you don't know that for a while. And it was just kind of the hanging out with them for those two days.